Good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you here tonight. Thanks a lot for coming. My name is Sabin Sigansa, and I'm from El Salvador. However, I have been living here in Long Island for a bit over 10 years. I think that moving to another country is a life-changing decision that many of us have made. Because of that, when I look back in time, I see that my life is now very different from how it was before coming to this country. Therefore, I'm going to let you know a bit about my life in my country, my life here, and my plans and expectations for the future. There are many reminders that come to my mind from my life at home. Most of them are about my family, classmates, and co-workers. As far as my contact with English, to be honest, I didn't have much. I guess many of us watch movies or listen to music in English, but it's not a real way to learn a new language. I took English classes in middle and high school, as well as two more courses at the university. Nonetheless, I don't think I really learned. Maybe because at that moment, my goal was to pass, not to learn. In other words, I didn't have a real necessity to learn English. I have many reasons to come to this country. For instance, I wanted to help my parents economically and live in a, place, in a country with more opportunities. This country is not only that, but also a place without all the third world country's social problems. Dealing with communication issues is normal when moving to another country, unless the same language is spoken there. Because of that, <coughs> studying English is something I wish I had done before. Getting a job was a nightmare, not only due to the language, but also because I didn't know the town. There were many other issues that, that were seriously troublesome for me. For instance, when I had to ask about an address or give it to the taxi driver. What was really helpful for me was the fact that I got to install a dictionary app on an electronic agenda that my brother-in-law had. It was very useful because back then, cell phones were just phones, not the smart devices we have nowadays. Unfortunately, I decided to study English after several years of being here in the USA. Although I had already learned enough to get by, my English was very bad. What was funny for me was that I didn't realize how poor my English was until I started my classes at Westbury Language Center. Because of my job, I couldn't study English in a continuous way. Nonetheless, with many breaks and returns, I'm finally here at the end of this journey and I feel glad about it. Learning English has been an awesome experience for me in many ways. It's easy to see when you realize that you can have a conversation with anybody you meet. In addition, when you go deeper into the language, for instance, being able to talk about specific details or even technical terms, it gives you a regarding feeling and great confidence. If I remember correctly, writing and presenting projects have been the most helpful activities in school. Furthermore, the ways in, what, in which learning English has helped me are very diverse. But if I had to pick one, I would say that getting access to all the information that is writing in English on the web is a huge resource for me. Speaking English will help me to achieve all my goals and projects that I have in the USA. Working by myself is the main one now, although I am involved in many others. Neither getting a better job nor doing business by ourselves is easy if we don't speak English. I would like to both run my own business and teach as a side job. If I didn't speak English, I wouldn't be able to achieve my goals. Consequently, to finish the ESL program is a good foundation. 
There are other skills that I still have to improve, but I think that going step by step, we can go far away and beyond. In summary, English is the key that will open many doors in our way to success in this wonderful country. Thanks everyone. Thanks to all the teachers.